that was he, he played it mid because he used to grind it in pub games like he went for this max earth shock mid ursa build all the time where he'd bottle rush and just spam his earth shock mid but obviously this isn't the mid so this is a, a hero i mean he Get definitely likes hero because of how much he's played it but We'll have to adjust his playstyle a bit here. Going for the Orb of Venom. We'll be prioritizing zoning Moo out here. As far as... Uh, Moo? Oh, he's got Timber Chain, yeah. Shadow Poison does a lot of damage. He actually goes into Envy, who has that Orb of Venom here. This is going to be a kill, it looks like, potentially. Yep. Shadow Demon, one more poison. Gets the kill. That was weird. Misplays kind of Moo's Timber Saw there. The Lina. Lina can try and salvage things with some kills off the Laguna Blade, but... I think the worst <laughs> thing that you're afraid of if you're a DC is the TA like actually killing the Lina and then snowballing up more and more kills yep. on the Lina, so it hasn't really gotten to that point yet, and... <laughs> Chain away, just barely gets the range, but the Shadow Poison will be enough, and... Envy committing the ultimate for that one. Doesn't cost him any mana, so you may as well. DC have made a similar move towards the top lane, looking for more with a to start things off. The Intelligible has got the Firefly, but the damage output is going to be there as Bulba gets caught out in this top lane. And similar story to last game with Bulba. Gets the initial support from Puppy, but the DC tri lane they still shut him down, and we're not looking at a world fusal rush. Yeah, yeah so that's. And going for the treads over the, the greedy and trap. On Envy, the vision will get the kill. That's a lot of fun going Misery's way. You're something like, oh, sweet, got 1300 gold. Dang, that was a good turnaround by Alina. I thought he, he was just going to be dead without casting anything. Moose coming in, immediately timber chaining aggressively, thinking he can pressure Omni out of his lane. So they just need to buy a little bit more to you, and suddenly your entire mana pool's gone. Refraction gets burned very quickly. It's about time to get some kills and a Roshan. Three man smoke by Secret. Ah, yes. The, I mean, the you're on the radiant side. Ball of Misery, sorry. He spent his money. He's mostly depleted out the play the arcade with some range off. Just trying to get down the aggressive board. I think recognizing that Bulba on the bat is going to be looking to farm the jungle a lot, and also that you want to keep tabs of where Ursa is to stop that rush from happening. So they're actually going for yet another kill. We dodges the blink, but he's getting sandwiched. We get pumped down the side side. Into the wrong place at the wrong time as well. Easy follow-up kill for Secret, and it's a much faster pace tempo coming out from this team here in game number two. Immediately into the road for Nico. Again, it sounded like the defusal was going to be great, but now that it's kind of evolved into a different sort of game where DC are just not looking to fight at all and it's nice. push the map he, he he would want more items to sell his farm well, say goodbye to your blink dagger dreams misery as they gets caught out again in the mid tier two <laughs> well, all of a sudden they think all the way all the ward there actually was Urshaker wasn't smoked, it was just the other one? He was, but he, oh, I okay. think it, it popped, popped as it. he was, he was like slightly behind the tree. Can't find Envy anyway. Good to really TP out, the Fissure is there just in time. Envy now out of mana, so no fusal damage coming in, but another Spirit Line should be there soon. He blinks out after the disruption. Great play from Envy. And that's something Moo could have maybe stopped if he was in range for a Chakram, but DC did not have everyone in position. So I think they'll have sentry wards ready for our TZ as well here. Yeah. So it's a radiant sentry, so TZ thinking about a turnaround here, at least maintaining vision for his team. There'll be a TP out from Mu and Socks uh... Resolution. He's not really thinking about saving Socks, I don't think. He's not even gonna try and fight our TZ. So it's easy with the Aegis, he doesn't have to be too worried about the heal, but now he's being kept alive thanks to the Omni Knight. Guardian Angel as well, protecting Bulba, but the Laguna will just be him. So uh, it's a decent trade so far, as Highlight Eye forced the TP out, nothing to cancel it, so they'll go for Puppy instead. I don't think he'll be so fortunate, can't really repel TP when there's Diffusal there, as he'll get sandwiched and broke down. Good turnaround. Secret were very desperate to get that kill because of the Lion. Not too concerned. Bottom no lane, good are they, setup they going to go and bat at bottom? Yeah, it looks like they did initially try to, but the TP's coming in response, and he finds Misery. We'll take him out immediately, and PL confusing. Trouble Lax and Escape here, we'll get Lassoed immediately. Bulba had just the mana for resolution. Once the play here, we'll get the doppelganger off, but that's not really going to help him out too much, so... Looks like DC tried to go aggressive on the lone Batrider, but Bulba had the quick support. Yep. 
Oh, it's a fast race respawn. Not a good time to go for... Money oh, this is where he puts down the trap. Not a good time to die. He's put down the trap, scout Roche, and get the DD. And this is with PL dead for 40 seconds, so... That was a... I, actually, I think that was a good move by DC, though. Trying to go for the Batrider kill. If they get the Batrider kill, they can, I, I think, at least threaten Roche to a better extent. That was like an instant Roche respawn. It was like, the time it came up, it was like three or four Roche seconds. Roche has just, fallen oh. to the Radiant. So, perhaps... Karma from the pause advantage will swing the towards tank. this tier one tower bottom and the DD room. Should be a free tower for the lane. Oh no, the echo slam coming out. They want SP. He's not being used. He's turned around though. Echo slam down. We thinking about split pushing this top lane. Yes. TT. We're ready to go forward. Links in on Mu will force him back to stop the annoying Chakram, but. Some of the creeps dragged off here. TZ can just take this one up though. Not the most dangerous of split pushing here is Alina. We'll just be a Link Bloodstone. Link obviously helping with the positioning and. Here that can snowball with Bloodstone, but we haven't really seen DC find too many kills as of late. Nope, still not a good way to do it. They just have so much burst that these supports are a misery in that land where you're never sure if you're going to be able to get that blink dagger. They've got the high ground with DC. Yeah, so will be a very fast respawn for Timbersaw. So it's mean they're not really in too much danger as far as their high ground's concerned for now. Whoa. I like the change of pace from Seeker Strap though, where they're the ones this game always looks to fight and get kills. Speaking of getting kills, resolution. Whew, maybe kept alive by now that Grey Zack's got the hail, but deletion comes from the Laguna Blade as back gets taken out of the fight. Potential chase coming from DC here. Blink in a couple of seconds. Can they get our TZ in time? Not gonna chase. Felt like another follow up. We'll blink back defensively. Yale gets put up by disruption here and Resolution immediately gonna double gang our way. They can't really fight into Envy's BKB. Move is gonna get taken out by Envy and no buyback on either of these two. The Timbersaw not too big of a problem, but PL dead for 40 seconds here. It was a TA BKB as well, so Secret looking to perhaps tighten the noose here and going for this double BKB. I think recognizing that their lineup will not scale as well into the late game as DC. And they want to fight with the network still like, heavily in their favor. The can get some pickoffs, but they're much stronger as a five-man unit. And they've also got the Aegis advantage. And you've got a defusal on PL, but he's dead. And he also doesn't have charges, so... This is... Repels back online. You don't need BKB anymore. Although he does have it on cooldown, but... This should just be a... They're going to blink in to try and force the issue here as... Urshika gets deleted. Envy finds one. Meanwhile, Mobile finds another TA. But this is where the Aegis comes into play. Finger goes on cooldown now. I'm going to think is totally okay with this. They should be able to force the racks here. But TZ, walks him off out of the Firefly. Well, it's just Buddy Bulbous Firefly, and now we'll see Resolution being forced back with the Doppelganger. It's the Disruption Illusion coming out of Shadow Team, and that's also just harassing DC. And at some point, Secret have to just prioritize this Rack here. Looks like Ortiz's gonna make the move to go for the Melee Rack. We'll take it out. Now he's an escape fight. He's getting close. He's running out of mana. He's fighting the PL Guardian Ape. will help keep him alive. It's PL still struggling to maintain enough to use the to fight. Envy's got another BKB. Mimic breaks him with an echo, but it's immediately taken out by the TA. DC chewing through buyback team to try and take one last fight, but they don't even get a single kill off of it. No defusal charges for resolution made if Secret don't come their way. But now they know there's no trap in there, so Secret's going to be second guessing. Hey, are they in route? And Secret have to come and contest this. So I like the smoke move. They can kill Envy again. The first damage is not going to be there in time. Even though it's going to be out of the disruption and Envy. Perhaps they're wasted BKB and let's get resolution. But with the purge, I believe resolution may go down. T on the side gets misery. Resolution almost brings down Envy. A couple more eclipses will be needed, but we have the Dragon Slay. Not enough. 30 HP. DC lose four, and unfortunately for DC this time around, very Pilot Eye was good ready. idea. That was a very good idea with DC. But oh, yeah, and, uh, as you mentioned, Pilot Eye was the captain to lead this team. That was some good position making from him, but current position is that 
Moo on the Timber getting chased down oh. by the Ursa. Go Scepters versus Defusal and Demonic yeah, Courage is not going to stick. But that's kind of the best option to get. No amount of armor is going to really save you from this, even with four sets of the Yeah, just cleaning up right now. Need a good game call. The repelled frontline. I don't even want to call Ursa like a carry or even a like game carry this game. They were just oh, diving over kills. It's such a different approach. You go from a game where you have NP and RTZ on two farming heroes, Terrorblade and Storm, to two diving hero killing heroes, TA and Ursa. TA a bit more farm centric in the early mid game, but.